Hey there, everybody. Fett here, and welcome back to Fett Plays the Darkest Dungeon. Last time, you gone and met better. Riviere and Carnet took out the senior pet catcher. Hopefully, leading to the end of the pet patrol. <laughs> you, ain't, you know, that ain't it yet. We also got a little town event for the Sunward Isles, but we're not going there today. No, no, no. We're going to take on the peckish Viscount. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mainly because I want this bloody dagger. 15% damage, 6 crit. All for only 10% stress. That's pretty good. Even to the heiress. Anyway. To take this team. Or to take into uh, this courtyard. We're taking this team. Bonif, Crab. Oceanborn. Built for Lightsteel and Stun. I don't know if that's going to work. But we're going to find out. Deep Sea Leeches for 50% Lifesteal. Ball and Chain for... Massive lowering of speed, but 25% extra stun chance, and also 100% extra move resist. Just the stick for more stun. That's 40%, by the way, if you combine these together. And the thing's crystalline fang, bringing it up to 50% with high health and uh, 70, uh, 80. I can do math. Uh, with uh, low health. So yeah, it's a uh, it's between you know. 170 and 200 chance of stun. Should be pretty good. Most everyone else is built for damage. Woolum in the second position with Soul Invictus. Skull Splitter. Life Soul Key to give him a little bit of self heal. And the Crescendo Box with some damage and speed. So, in the third position, we have brought Boisel, the Black Guard. I think it's built kind of interesting. Addis Fang, Vial of Venom, Blight Skill Chance, Extra Blights on Hit. Extra damage against blighted targets. Sorcerer's Sensor. Even more blight. Look at that. Three for three rounds. That's five for three rounds. You combine these two. And with Call of the Grave, theoretically it hits everybody. Uh, we also have the Preacher for lowered accuracy on the first round, but we get stats back for that, which I think cancels itself out, or at least hopefully. And then finally in the back, we have Roared, our one with the curse. As a phase shifted focusing lens. Ezio Altatora's hidden blade. The damage, speed, crit, and accuracy. And move resist, I suppose. Excalibur Baldwin's crown. So lots of damage spilling forth. Hopefully enough to make up for the fact that this team is just damage. And pretty much nothing else. We'll see if that's the case. You know, if it's not, well, I'm not going to pretend to be surprised. Okay, bring some cures as well. And let's go. Take on the Viscount. Mm, the Viscount is set the table. As you can see. Pl pl plenty of swine. There's the people in there, but honestly, are you really surprised? I mean, the mosquito people, but people nonetheless. Hmm. Alright, well, we don't need to fight these two fights. Looks like we're almost definitely going over here. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. I mean, they are the same, which means it should prioritize the bottom right. Of which this is the right most and the bottom most compared to these two spots up here. Yo, a chance to get rid of a negative quirk. I mean, Bonif has a lot of them. Maybe because Bonif's been going on so many missions. Um, inert? I mean, I don't want anyone inert around here, I suppose. Calm and homicidal. I mean, calm, I would not want. Homicidal is can be fun. I almost said is fun. It's actually, you know, I'm going to do the gamble and try to get rid of that. Best case scenario, homicidal is gone. Worst case scenario, calm is gone. Okay. Lost a lot of damage on Boy Cell there, but we don't have... We don't have as many healers as we could have on this team. You know, we have one main healer, and he's up front. Although, to be fair, everyone except for Roard can heal themselves. Kind of offsets it, but not really. Let's go burn everything. Hope you don't care. Yeah, it, it, it's all burnable. Around here, at least. Hello, perfidious manservants and pesky sycophants. Please stop whining at me maddeningly. That's confusion. I don't like it. Oh my goodness! Running around insulting children. You dare call yourselves enemies? Be gone, fiend. Actual cowards. Running around here thirsting for children. I'm calling the police! Oh, jeez. We got stress. Yes, we do. 
We've got strats, etc., etc., etc. Pull them up. How you doing? Along to the front lines, around these parts, we give you the call of the grave. Oh, baby, five for three. That is actually really not bad for a uh, apprentice level dungeon. I mean, it's not really that great for top level, you know, a champion level, but for here, it's good. Anyway, crab. Crab! Hope blossoms. Mm. Delicious. Thanks for the health back. I appreciate that. Don't do it. Oh wait, we're already. He's already a freaking Snow. crab with Gently. crimson curse. This is how a life is taken. He's a crimson crab. Too bad it doesn't actually turn him red. That'd be amazing. To the tasks end. I can't have everything, right? Eden, beauty. Look you. Dang little stank spiders. Take some yard. Oh yeah, that's right. It only hits one now. Well. Another abomination. Well. Cleansed from our lands. <laughs> um. Well, we got slightly more accuracy on the life steal. Well. And that's the death. Oh yeah, it also bleeds. Okay, cool. Bong. A little bit of bong for you. Little bit of gold for me. Then we move forward and go tee hee hee. We can burn another pile of scrolls. We go wolf. Merciful's removed. All right. This child is bloodlusted like the rest of us. Oh, nice dodge. Thank you, Rord. And this time we'll remember to use the cures before we leave. Don't you worry. If you were considering getting it twisted, you may now stop. Hello. Pesky sick. Oh no. Oh no. This is not good. Flash flare. Haha. -ha! Enjoy your minus accuracy and speed. That is actually a lot of minus accuracy, so I appreciate that. Not. Ah, oh, they can't not. Jerks. Uh, transform. And then, uh,. Slam as if we want to jam. Mm, baby. Nice. The blood okay. Undying Rage. Oh, jeez. Please let it die. And then, uh, call the graves. Yeah. And then, uh, crab. Yo, we crab now. Right. There's only one thing we can do, and it's the best thing. Come at me, bro! It's crab time. This big ass team. Got Roar in the back, but everyone else is just the biggest lad. Can you not. <laughs> Jerks. You're making me waste all my favorite materials. Ah, there's their blood still there. Hey, well, we got some extra blood. Um, okay, I was going to say, the blood was still there. He stayed around a little bit longer than it should have. Burn this stuff. I don't know what I would, would expect that to do. To be honest with you. Alright, well, the three of us ha now have the Crimson Coice. We're going to be fine. Oh, jeez. Now we might be less fine. Oh, no! All right. I mean, that's some solid ass damage. You got to admit. Run for the old gosh! Dang it. That's okay. We got this. We got this. We're gonna do this, and then we're gonna get mad, and we're gonna go. Oof! Fluids of skill and purpose. It worked, eh? All right, come on, boys. L. All right, you can get pulled. It doesn't affect your abilities that much. Oi! Oh, you yeah. Them all. Let's move forward. Actually, that was kind of pointless, because Woolham's going to go next. And Woolham's going to slash! Annihilated. <laughs> Good stuff. Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. It just made sense to ditch the citrine for the Zapphire, right? 
wealth beyond measure. Oh, I haven't been bringing much. Awarded to the brave and the foolhardy alike. I haven't been bringing nearly as many um on these missions lately. I've noticed. You cannot smash the bones. All right, if you say so. I don't know if I believe you, but if you say so. I love that sweet ass relief. All right, this should be the Viscount here. I could be wrong. Nice. Taste for morbidity is made more pronounced oh, by his mutation. But he has regular, he has regular dudes with him. I don't like it. I also don't like their maddening whines, and I wish they would stop. Okay, there's a blood stuffed body here. Executed with him. There was a blood stuffed body here. Thankfully, we ooped it right away. You do not have much health, Mr. Viscount. Lord Peckish. If that is your real name. The ground quakes. Uh. Do you die a little bit more slowly? I kind of want to see what you can do. Served rare. Oh, boy. I mean, I guess someone at some point in history has used the term served rare for their crotch, so... Well done, Mr. Viscount. Oh, wow, no lighting there. Sorry, refined pairing? Okay, I mean, everything you do stresses, apparently. I hate it. But whatever, you do you, you know? Boom, baby. Formation is broken. Maintain that healing. Defensive. Yeah! Dinner is served! Yay! Yep. Another blood-stuffed body. You know, just keep doing what you're doing. You're doing great, Rard. Yeah, you're losing damage over time. Who cares? They're still dying. Shockingly quickly. Oh, God! There's one thirsty mosquito. What the hell? Yeah, that's what I wanted to see this whole time. Okay, now we're going to give him the slap of a I don't know why I did that. Uh, the slap of a lifetime here. Surges as the enemy crumbles. I mean, I was all right. It was actually, it was pretty good there, all right. It was good. Hungry eyes. I almost thought that said hangry eyes, which would have been so much better. Uncertainty. Ah, great. Give himself a slap back. I mean, two damage ain't much. Plus, we got the stun. Plus, he's gonna blight out. Let us hope he enjoyed his last meal. Third cold. All right, well, six blood is nice. Uh, the Master's Essence, 50% extra healing skills, 35% blight chance, 35% debuff skill chance. Actually, about as perfect as an antiquarian trinket is going to get. Also, we're done. Huh. <laughs> All right. A moment of rest. Cool. A chance to steel oneself against the coming horrors. All right, bring the rum. Hum a shanty. Mm -hmm. And then, do we have something else that can reduce stress? We don't have last light, so we could, in theory, actually get a nighttime ambush. In theory. Uh, we don't actually have anything else that lowers stress, so... Sorry, dude, you gotta have some stress no matter what, but here's a scientific explanation for you. They are apparent causal extra reality manifestations, nothing more. Please understand. There's nothing really to worry about. You'll all be okay. Hey, right. speaking of being okay, I think we were pretty okay throughout all that. That's a pretty good drinker for the heiress. Okay. I forgot to use any of the cures because I am the dumbest man. Man can hunter, ectomorphier, plagued, weak grip. Why do these all suck? <laughs> Hey, wait. Extra 35% extra damage and bloodlust. Okay, that That's pretty good. There I'm not going to lie. Horror beneath Ooh. the manor. Hmm. A crawling chaos that must be destroyed. Ironic that our abomination is going to make it so that Bonus Well, no, you'll still be able to be on the same team. Boy Saddle can no longer be on the same team. Which is unfortunate indeed. And that's just how the cookie crumbles, isn't it? Healer's Guide Monthly. <laughs> Anyone can learn from the self digest, but it's complicated and distracting, which is why you get minus 30% move resistance, 10% extra crits received. 
you get extra healing received and HP, but you don't get extra healing done. Who the even white witch gives extra healing done while not camping? It's a lot of it too, but it's minus 50% health, which is kind of a lot. Kind of a whole heck of a lot. Uh, reaping evisceration and soul harvest get 50% damage for the rate? Excuse me. Unus momentus. But, uh... No, I have a phantom. Do I have a wraith? Now I think about it, I don't even know if I have a wraith in the party. If I have, I haven't used them for a while. Huh. I think I might have actually forgotten about the wraith. Ooh, 20% stun skill chance. What is... Claimants. Ah, that's not great. Yeah, he's not, he's not that great. It, it's, it's just not. Don't think about how great it is, because it's not. Hey, it's Casper the Friendly Ethnomorph. And like the Coonhound. And Jaden the Corgi. And the Corgi for the thrall. With his playful focus. And his mark target 50% chance. Pretty good, actually. Um, you know, I haven't looked at these in a while. I can afford quite a few of them. At this point. I mean, I don't want to... I don't know if I want this at all. But the idea of it seems really neat. Um, let's see. Shards gain? Okay, okay, I'll get that. Minus healing done. Interesting. 10% chance to hit a random target. On hit, stealth self. On hit, buff target stealth. There's a chance to stun yourself and your... That's a weird one, man. That's just weird. I don't think I like it. I might like it, but I don't think I like it. I like the idea of uh, being able to light the enemy when hit. Guard duration for the barbarian and on hit blight. Also a chance to disease yourself, though, you know. The, I mean, a highwayman speed and... Yeah, that's, I'm gonna buy that. It's a speed and damage. How can you resist? I don't remember seeing a wraith now that I think about it. When was the last time I saw a wraith? I feel like I've made a an internal error here by not ever seeing one. Any good rewards in the uh, arena before I prick off to the resurrection zone? Lipstick for the heiress? Debuff skill chance? Neat. Uh, samurai sword? Okay, cloak of calamity. Calamity cloak. Super cloaky cloak. It's really good for Abyssal Havoc. Doesn't really do anything for anything else. But what the heck? Let's do a fight. Let's see. Who hasn't been... You know what? Let's... Let's see how Woozle's Devil Dog... And... Coily and... Port? Yeah, yeah, we'll do port. Do in the arena. They're only level 5, technically, but they can still be upgraded all the way. So, you know, Ecliptic Edge. Neat. Dark Light. Neat. What do we got? The Devil's Razor and Hell's Harmonica. And his Sunday best. The Archangels. They always deliver their message. The Shining Darkness. The real symbol of the Phantom. And then the sarcophagus and Timurik's bottomless bag. Cool! Upgrade your abilities as well. 300% extra damage against bleeding and blighted enemies. Yes! Let's see. I mean, we're gonna upgrade everything, I think. Uh, extra stun chance is always nice. Four. So, yeah. There's a chance. It will heal seven to nine. It could heal. An additional four or six more. That's a really strong deal. Tranquility is a good chance of stress relief. Will provide some stress relief. Could apply double. Really good seeming. Uh, rejuvenating Surge, which is a heal with a chance of restoration over time. It's really good. Spectral Blast is actually a decent attack. And it does regular damage at max level. Neat. An Ethereal Blessing can give damage reflection to the party. Neat. Devil dog. Close shave. Better bleeds. I love it. Move your feet. Better stress. I love it. 
Plus 25% damage received for enemies. Singing the blues, extra stress relief, speed, and uh, less crits received. Neat. I see set, of course. Plus six damage, plus 13 dodge, plus 30 accuracy. All right, the crossroads, damage, crit, at the cost of dodge, and stress for himself. Uh, staggerly slash. Got uh, extra damage against marked targets. Doesn't seem to buff the slapback or anything. But, you know, still a decent attack in its own right. And we could upgrade from the other side. Let's go ahead and do it. Um, it's a mark. It does some decent damage. All that good stuff. Woozles! See, assassinate. Move forward. Extra accuracy against marked targets. Leave no corpse on kill. Death Rang. No extra damage, but extra protection reduction. Blind throw. Extra crit. Uh, versus guarded enemies, and even more against stealth enemies. A vanishing trick. Better stun chance? Okay, okay. And stealth, of course. Uh, shadow cloak, extra armor piercing, extra crit chance, until a crit happens, and an extra combat action. And the marked fate, which gains, it looks like, stronger debuffs. And then Icarus Heal, which just does not seem that good. Minus 3 max HP for 25% damage. It's not that good. Uh, and then Fort, Nervous Stab, more stress relief. Festering Vapors, more Blights, and more Blights on others. Beautiful. Flash Powder, more Accuracy Debuff. Fortifying Vapors, more Single Target Heal, but no, not Extra Party Heal. Invigorating Vapors, plus 66% damage and 8 speed, good lord. Uh, 15 dodge and 3 speed with get down. And 8 dodge and 16 protection with protect me. Okay, done that part. Now for the other fun part. Which is gonna be the itemization of the team. Yo, extra everything against marked targets. We're not gonna use that. Although it does seem interesting. Don't even start. You know what I'm gonna say. And don't get it like that. Anyway. Um, take that. Take the salamander. Get some, uh, keep the torch light up. Please understand. Uh, give me the lightsaber on Woozles as well. And we're mo as you can tell, we're mostly building them for damage. So, hit me up with that legendary bracer as well. All right, Devil Dog. Check it, Devil Dog's getting Soul Invictus, 100%. Getting the Preacher, 200%. Getting Skull Splitter, 300%, and getting the Unique Charm. Some damage and accuracy all the way through. Port! Oh, I'm excited. So you got a lot of fun things for Port. Uh, first of all, extra healing skills, Blight Chance, and Debuff Chance, yes. I don't even think I need to mention why. It's, Good double blight amount, yes. Across the 10% HP. It's probably fine. Uh, and then, I think we just give Adder's Fang and Vial of Venom, to be honest. Yeah. And that's really good. I forgot about Tardif's head giving stun skill chance. I shouldn't have forgotten about that, but I did. Man, it's too late to not. And then finally, Poile, who actually has better heals than Port. Uh, let's see. I think I'm going to go full heal with Poile. So, Ancestor Scroll for better heals of both physical and stress. Last Light for even additional. Madden Tambourine for even more. And then... I'm going to go with Seraph's Halo. For the Cure Blight and Bleed. So what do we have? Tranquility, Rejuvenating Surge, Ethereal Blessing. That's the only one I'm not entirely sure that I want, but I kind of want those buffs. So I might go with that one. And then Touch of Death for a Touch of Hurt. Nervous Stab, Festering Vapors, Fortifying Vapors, Invigorating Vapors. Yup. Uh, close Shave, Singing the Blues, I see said. Staggeredly Slash, yup. Assassinate, Vanishing Trick, Shadow Cloak, Icarus Heal, no. Uh, give me... We blind throw instead, I think. Well, Death Orang could be fun, too. You know, give me Death Orang, Vanishing Trick, Shadow Cloak. See how that works out for us. Alright. Let's go into the arena. 
We shouldn't need to bring torches, but we'll bring anti-venom and bandages and medicinal herbs. And we'll see how we do today. It's time to fight to the death. In case you didn't know. It begins. As soon as you let there you go. I was gonna say, as soon as you let it begin. Then probably after this we'll head into the um Head to the resurrection chamber. Let's see if we bring Salmon back. Oof! Leper, bounty hunter, shieldbreaker, plague doctor. Holy jeez. Starting off with a serpent sway, which is going to be an Aegis and four speed. Oh god, blinding gas. There goes our back row for an entire turn. All right, Icy Sedge, what we're starting with, of course. We're going to need that extra accuracy. Okay, 81% is not bad for the first turn, to be honest. Got it on the leper. Lowers bleed resist, which is helpful. Okay, we could go for the assassinate, which would be good damage on them. We could also go for the death orang, which would be damage to their back row, potentially. Actually, you know what? Start with Shadow Cloak. At least then you won't take. Ooh, he got his extra move! Swift as a shadow. You got a guaranteed crit. Go for it! Good job, Morning Star, with your 30 something damage. Okay, we might be able to take out the Bounty Hunter as of the next turn. Starting with Revenge. Yikes! The Leper has a lot of damage on him. A lot of damage, and it lasts for the whole battle, too. Captain 26 fucking damage?! That's with n Oh my god, this game! Okay, we just killed her in one hit, though. That's nice. And I'm waiting for her turn so that she dies to the blight. Oh, well, not happening today. We have Rejuvenating Surge. Thank frick. Oh my god. Well, to be fair, she only has 24 health. I didn't realize how bad her health situation was. Wow, a regen of 10. Jeez, um. Obviously, we're using the anti venom. Uh, then, let you, you know what? Let's go for uh, the vapors. That's the lowest light. You, eh? You sit on the leper anyway. Still got six, freaking Dean. Okay, now we just need. Come on, yes, woozles. The faint hope blossoms. There you go. Holy cow! Uh oh, frick! Oh my God, he missed. He should have used finish him. That would have had a better chance to hit. But all right, you do you, I guess. Uh, it could give him the touch, but you know what? Let's give us the ethereal blessing instead. There you go. It gives everyone else damage reflection too. Thirty percent, not a ton, but a good amount to be honest. Uh, you know what? Yeah, go go for it. Hey, go for it. Your unequaled will. Incision. To be fair, that's basically all you got at this point. Stab him! Oh my lord! Woozles with these crits! Holy cow! Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. Remember, lads, overconfidence. Something, something we win every time. Got ourselves a bewitched blade and a cloak of calamity. For a both font and apparently a ton of disease. Pale man's plight. Influx. Minus 20 dodge, it will just start bleeding? Ooh, extra damage to melee skills at the cost of what I'm guessing is crit. Not sure about that. Minus accuracy plus dodge, all right. Look, I see what you're doing. You, you, being, you think you're being funny. By the way, that was the most In reward time, we've ever gotten out of that mission. Know the tragic extent of my failings. Well, not of that mission, but of that kind of battle. Anyway, these diseases are actual trash. Get rid of them, please. Jesus, Jesus! Right, we didn't need, didn't really need the money at all, but you know how it is. Rain all Desmus, let's get in here. Grab some, take some food with you. Let's go bring back some old friends. I keep saying it plural, but really you can only bring back. One. I guess unless you're bringing back the claimants, then you're technically bringing back two. But I don't know if you bring back the sisters, does that count as one or two? Because you know they're like people inhabiting one body? How does that count? 
Oh, did you just get stressed in the freaking hallway toward the... Boy! I guess they got stressed instead of giving me negative quirks. Our family name, once so well regarded, is now barely mm. whispered aloud by decent folk. Brickville, huh? I mean, I like the name. Was I? I have not had good luck with pickaroons. I'm not gonna lie. Maybe we should grab one because of that. Well, what level are they? Zero, two, zero, zero. Well, I mean, I guess the pickaroon is the best option in that case. Alright, whatever. 50,000 is chump change at this point. You know, I didn't actually check the shops before... Oh, yeah, I did. Yeah, I checked the shops before the battle. Never mind. Ignore me. I'm dumb. Uh, dig dug the mole for the musketeer. First round only. Stun resist. That's a weird one. Uh, win hit counter stun. 115% chance. On kill. 25% chance. The stealth. I mean, it's fine. Nothing awesome. A lot of bogatiers out today. But that is going to be it for this episode of that. Episode of that plays the darkest dungeon. I stumbled on my words a little bit. It's fine. If you enjoyed it, make sure to let me know by giving it a like. If you haven't already, feel free to subscribe for more. If you keep coming, it probably won't stop coming. Or maybe it will. I don't know. Thanks again for watching this episode of Darkest Dungeon. My name is Fett, and I will see you in the next video, everybody. Yeah.